Hi, it's Charlie from Stan James. Welcome to a latest update on the 2010 World Cup from South Africa. We'll be in the you can, it's Tuesday afternoon, and Signor Capello, I would imagine, has made the call. His uh, seven men that he's asked from the 30 man squad, the provisional 30 man squad, to make the 23 people who are on the plane to South Africa. It looks as if uh, Sean Wright Phillips is in and Theo Walcott out, that's one surprise, and also Stephen Warnock is in and Leighton Baines out. Slightly surprise for me, I must say. Baines played very poorly, I felt, in the game against Mexico, and um, I was slightly surprised that Warnock didn't play in the second half. Uh, Ashley Cole came in and was as good as ever in the win against Japan, but I'm slightly surprised again that maybe Warnock didn't get 45 minutes. If Capello is saying, as he's sort of suggested, that he knew the makeup of his squad, well, why didn't Warnock? I think don't think it's the ideal preparation for him. Sean Wright Phillips has come in for Thea Walker. Thea Walker, I don't think he's got anybody but himself to blame. He's flattered to deceive him more than one occasion, but again, he's had some very good games in the uh, in the three lines of England. But that looks as if it's the makeup, and we're only going with four strikers. But of course, we've got Joe Cole who can play up top, and of course, we've also got Stephen Gerrard. So Dan and Ben, let's get it. Is no great loss. We've got Peter Crouch, uh, I think, and Emil Heskey if we need a big man and it's not I think guaranteed that we'll go wouldn't surprise me if we some of the games certainly against the good teams we're going to have a lot of the ball that we flood in the midfield and play Gerard just off Wayne Rooney as well but <clears throat> Peter Crouch will be one of my bets as well I think at 9 to 1 he is overpriced I put him in a couple of magazines at 12 to 1 to be top English goal scorer uh, France is still even money for group A just to, uh, let's quickly go through but they, they stumble from almost from poor performance to poor performance Raymond Dominic and Thierry Henry seem to have agreed that Henry will be a substitute in the first couple of games for the World Cup uh, they are a very very talented on paper you look at Bakary Sanya you look at Frank Ribery you look at Florent Maloudi you look at Nicholas Anelka you look at William Gallagher you look at Patrice Evra um, you look at Gail Clichy whatever Gulkouf it would appear that uh, Johan Gulkouf that uh, Arsenal may well be offering £20 million pound for yet they uh, they were so fortunate to meet Italy, uh, Ireland rather in the hand of Henry playoff success in Paris and um, they have really haven't you know they were beaten in a friendly well beaten by Spain in a friendly as well and uh, really I think even money is uh, that, that is the wrong price and indeed three to one on to qualify fancy Mexico and Uruguay the two South American countries to get through from group A couple of other um, uh, bets just looking through maybe our match bets and who's to qualify for things like that and top goal scores Argentina fascinating market this Lionel Messi 7-4 to four. will he play wide on right or will he play up top alongside one of his is one will it be Diego Milito of Internacional or will it be Gonzalo Cuellar of Real Madrid it looks like from that of course Cuna Guerra won't and Carlos Tevez won't get a shirt and to start with uh, I just fancy Gonzalo Gonzalo Guain, a very, I think he's a natural goal scorer. I think on Gonzalo Guain, nine to four to be top Argentinian goal uh, scorer. I think Florian Maluda, eight to one is over, overpriced. I think Maluda will get in the box a lot. I don't think many goals they will score many goals. France, I think Nicholas Nelk is three to one favourite alongside Henri. Can't have Henri. We now know he's going to be a sub. Frank Ribery, six and Florian Maluda, they would be the two for me. No goal scorer for Ghana in their group. I know they're, they're a very, very resilient team. They reached the final of the African Cup of Nations, only scored three goals, I think, in the five games they played. Well, if you think Ghana go out, just, you know, that is a really, really tough group with Australia and <clears throat> also Germany and Ghana. I think that is a really tough group. And Ghana, I just thought, looked at that and I thought 10-1 to 1 for them not to score a goal is overpriced. Um, no Michael Essien, remember. Nigeria just looked at one at uh, Obufemi Martins, 5 to 2, second favourite to be top scorer for Nigeria. That just, I thought, made some appeal. Not a great fan of the Yak at the moment, didn't really put it in for Everton towards the end of the season. Robin Van Persie, this would be one of my, my, one of my bets of the World Cup. I put him up at 33 to 1 to be top goal scorer in the World Cup. He's now into 25 to 1, but I think if I think thought at 33 to 1, he was a very good bet for the World Cup to be top goal scorer, or certainly overpriced, then I think. I think it's a 15 to 8. I think he's got to be worth a bet to be top goal scorer for La Orange. Uh, Arjen Robin 3 to 1. But generally, we'll sort of play wider. Klaus van Huntelaar, of course, who hasn't had the greatest season for Milan. And Dirk Kout 6 to 1. Wesley Schneider. Hopefully, they'll be providing the ammunition for uh, Van Persie. Of course, Van Persie was. Uh, missed a lot of the season, the injury, of course, against uh, Italy in the friendly before Christmas. I think he, he just scored two goals as well in the recent game against Mexico. He would be the one for me there. 
But the market move is the same. Remember, Spain are, are remain our four to one favourites with Stan James. Well, how do you think about uh, Capello's makeup? It looks as if Bent's not going. It looks as if Walcott's not going. It looks as if Adam Johnson's not going. It looks as if Leighton Baines is not going. The six is out to thirteen to two on the back of that um, slightly fortuitous victory against Japan at the weekend. Argentina going the other way, sevens into thirteen to two. It was the hand of God in 1986 for Diego Maradona as uh, one of the greatest players I've ever seen. Could he coach the world champions in 2010? 7s into 13 to 2, Argentina. Remember, if Spain lift the World Cup, we'll give you your money back for any country you bet in the outright market placed before June the 11th. If the Spain, who remain, I think, the warm favourites uh, at 4 to 1 with ourselves at StanJames.com. Be lucky.